But while I was at the University of Toronto, I had sort of what I call a, a traumatic experience. Uh -oh. uh, and, uh, and, you know, maybe a little bit different kind of trauma than some people uh, will talk about. But on January 9th of 2007, I watched Steve Jobs get on the stage and say that they were introducing a revolutionary new device that was going to take over the phone market. And there were three things about that that I sort of found personally traumatizing. Uh, there were, the first was he was right. Uh, and it was a revolutionary device, although, you know, you mentioned research in motion, that was the king that got deposed uh, by, <laughs> the, right. uh, by the iPhone. And so, you know, as a Canadian, that's that hurt a little bit. But I think the most personal thing was uh, Steve Jobs said that it was possible that this had all been enabled by a new technology Apple had invented called multi-touch. And uh, I watched him say that multi-touch had been invented at Apple on a multi-touch device I built for my PhD thesis at the University oh of Toronto. God. Oh, my and, God. <laughs> and... You know, like in a, in a product launch, you know, he's not going to cite his sources, right? And their patents, they acknowledge the work and it's fine. And and really, you know, this leads directly to the third and most, you know, traumatizing thing as a Canadian. This led directly to the creation of Axel was that Jobs didn't do anything wrong, right? Like uh, U of T didn't patent anything. And even if we, even if they had, it would have expired. Uh, and so I was just watching how, you know, the Canadian people had spent millions and millions and millions of dollars to fund the creation of this. And to be clear, I didn't invent multi-touch either. The first multi-touch input to a computer was done in 1982 uh, at wow. U of T. Um, but all this work had been done, uh, you know, sort of following the, the infinite frontier model that the American universities uh, follow. But for whatever reason, all the tech was flowing into the um, uh, outside of Canada. And so that happened. And then I, I uh, went off and I was the architect of the Microsoft Surface devices. And then I came back to, uh, to Toronto as a, as a professor, started founding companies. Uh, I founded uh, a couple that had exits. One of them was to Meta, uh, and uh, that they turned that into the local um, AI AR research center here in Toronto. And when I was coming back, I watched this exact same thing happening again, but this time it was with AI, where wow. all of this great fundamental work was was flowing out of Canada. Uh, and so Axel is meant to uh, to really start to harness that and and to keep all the innovation here. Oh, it's amazing. 